Hey there guys, it's the Butter Baron here, and today we have another cannoning tutorial. This one is called the Semi-Compact Hybrid Compressor Cannon. Okay, so you're probably wondering, what does it do? Well, here you go. Uh, don't mind that random tree. Uh, what is it with this lag? God. Good gosh. Okay, maybe it'll wear off if we fly around a bit. Okay. What? What? Okay, anyway. Uh, random mobs aside. Uh... I actually made this bedrock so it uh, so I wouldn't have to uh, fill in the grass every time I freaking uh, shot a cannon. So, so this is a hybrid cannon. What it does is it is used in faction servers to shoot through water walls. Now, it does this well. TNT, as you know, does not do damage to blocks when it is when it blows up inside water. Now, to combat this. Uh, what this cannon does is the piston pushes the sand out and the TNT is fired at the same time and say this was a water wall um, the sand would act like a solid block which the TNT would be inside therefore causing the TNT to explode and cause damage to blocks. Now, now let's give this a test fire. Uh, why is it not lag when I'm flying? That's odd. Here we go. Uh, oh, forgot to adjust the timings. My bad. Just pretend that didn't happen. Oh. Well, it's kind of what it does, but, uh, 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 anyway, uh, let's try with the sand this time. Not there. So it, it basically shot through the uh, opening the second time, but this is about the amount of damage you would you normally get. So this is pretty powerful for its small size and pretty simple mechanics. So uh, how the redstone works for you uh, redstone geeks out there. Um, we have a wooden button. Uh, it is, I believe, it the 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 the, um, the delay is uh, about 15 ticks, and um, redstone goes through here, powers all these uh, pistons or not pistons dispensers, <laughs> um, which the TNT from here goes this way because the water's flowing that way and this way because the water's flowing that way. Now this is the compressor part of the cannon and it compresses a lot of TNT into a small area and then it what the button also does is it sends a redstone signal through here through about uh, say 20 ticks because there's five pist uh, redstone repeaters here. We have this comparator clock, which uh, it's set to subtraction mode, so it rapidly sends out a signal in uh, bursts or uh, uh, pulses. That, that, that's the word. And powers these pist. Uh, dis I keep calling them pistons, dispensers, over and over until we have enough propellant TNT and. After another tick or so, the piston comes back, 
sand falls down, pushes the sand back, and it fires. So, uh, let's get to the tutorial on how to build this. Lag, what is with this lag? Okay. So, uh, what you'll need is a 4 by 10 area with these four blocks on the side. Now, uh, I used uh, slabs here. You can re really build your platform out of anything, or you don't have to have a platform. But uh, if you're playing in a faction server, you're most likely going to want a platform for this cannon. All right, so what we need here is some prismarine. Well, not specifically pris prismarine, any block. T just make sure you have 29 of them. Well, just put down in the comments below what you think should be the block we should use for the next episode, as you can use almost anything with TNT cannons. So, uh, today it's prismarine. Uh, we need four stone slabs, 19 redstone, 17 dispensers, 6 redstone repeaters, a redstone comparator, a redstone torch, a redstone piston, nah, just a regular piston, water bucket, a wooden button, which should not be easy to, which should not be too hard to get, but I'll get to why in a second, a target, and your common sense, don't forget that. Um, so... What tune is that? I don't know. Mining some bird. Cutting down some wood with my bare hands. With my bare hands. Four, eh? Wonder how I make a crafting table. Huh? Buttons for everyone. You get a. I can't place that there. You get a button, and you get a button, and you get a button. We all get buttons. Yeah. Alright guys, now on to the tutorial. Now, so what you do to start is you build your barrel by doing like so and making it so each of these walls is about three high. You add your roof and you add your slabs. Now, what you do next is you place a block here, 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 and here. And you fill up the rest with dispensers like so. Then you come around here and put your firing mechanism. And you place your water source block here so that the, wa the water pushes the TNT from here that way and the TNT from here that way. Now, what you do next is you break these two blocks, replace them with dispensers break these two blocks, place a temporary block here, and put your piston there. And then you can go around and break your temporary block, and the sand will g go here. 
Oh, by the way, do not, um, I do not recommend filling your thing with TNT at the big, as soon as you place the pistons. I know a lot of you like to do that, but, uh, in case it, uh, goes off accidentally, just don't. J j just don't. Alright, so now for the redstone. We place our redstone around here, on top of the dispensers. Then it comes down here, and you place your five redstone repeaters. Set them all to four ticks delay. Four ticks delay. Let me know, guys, in the comments if I'm uh, doing this tutorial a bit fast. Uh, if so, I will correct it in the future videos. But uh, for now, so we place our comparator here, set it to subtraction mode by right clicking. Then we place a block here, a block here. We place our redstone around here like this. Redstone there. A redstone repeater with one tick right there. A block on top. And a redstone torch here. Now, all you need to do now is place a... That's not it. A slab here. And finally, place your button here, and you are all fine and good, as long as it does the following. As long as you hear that sound, then this thing is complete. All you have to do is fill all the dispensers with TNT. These should definitely be filled more than the others, if not all if you're not making them all the way full. And you place your sand up here like this. As high as you want. Now that is all I have today. Next time, we will be looking at a different cannon I haven't picked yet, but uh, make sure to comment down below on those blocks, which one you want to use for the next episode. And don't forget your targets and your common sense. And uh, yeah, so please slap that like button. Hit subscribe if you really like this video and want to see more. And, uh, I, I have a bit, uh, more to, uh, yeah, yeah, I need to, uh, break the, uh, stuff. Or not break the stuff, but, uh, I need to wait for the... sound. Hopefully that'll be fixed next episode, but I can't make any promises. Now, uh, why don't you guys just uh, sit there and uh, we'll review some more of this cannon's potential after I fix this wall. But it has to be done. It just has to be done.
actually, I've decided which uh, cannon I will be showing you guys next. It will be a slab buster, and it will be awesome. So, uh, don't forget to uh, check that out. Once I get it uploaded, of course. Which may be a couple days, but uh, hopefully won't be too long. Set. 